Ever since Jim got put in prison, not much has happened on the Jim SMP. I guess there's a crimson egg, but that's about it. So I thought to myself, what if no one turned up to save Tommy and Tubbo? Would Tubbo have been killed? Or would he have escaped? And then I thought, what if Dream was never in prison? I'm gonna stop. kill you until you're gone. Tommy, stop! You know what? You, you know what? You have three. You have three. This is my dream. 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 Tommy, we were friends. Before the video starts, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed, and I'm trying to hit 30,000 subscribers in the next two weeks, so please, subscribe! Yeah, no one has to subscribe, and follow my Twitch if you want to see more of this handsome strawberry- <laughs> If you're watching this video, the chances are you've seen the clip from when Dream defeated Tommy and Tubbo in the final fight. We know that Dream would have more than likely killed Tubbo, stripping him from his final cannon knife if it weren't for puns and the others showing up. However, what would have happened if they didn't turn up? Dream had Tommy and Tubbo trapped. They didn't really have a choice but to stay. They had their armor and tools blown up and had nothing to use to their advantage. We know that Dream really wanted to kill Tubbo. As harsh as it sounds, he means nothing to him. However, it is a complete opposite with Tommy. Dream says Tommy helped him when he introduced the discs to the server. This is because they had sentimental value to Tommy and shortly after that, everyone began to have an attachment to something they owned. This meant Dream was able to control everybody if he had that specific item or object. The discs were at the top of the list. They had the most value over everything on the SMP. So if Tommy lost his last life, then Dream Dream would no longer have as much power and leverage over everybody because no one would be fighting for the discs and they would lose their value. However, we know that Turbo also means a lot to Tommy, so if Dream was to kill Turbo, then it would weaken Tommy, which would be a huge advantage for him. Therefore, I think it's pretty obvious Dream would have killed Turbo if the others hadn't have turned up. But what would have happened to Tommy? After Turbo has been killed, Tommy will be extremely distraught and shocked. He will be intimidated and scared, allowing Dream to have full control over him. We know that Dream wouldn't kill Tommy, so instead, he will place him in the Pandora's vault. Yes, you heard me. The exact prison which Dream is currently locked up in. Why is this, you may ask? Well, Dream said it himself. Tommy has done nothing but cause trouble and bring war to the server. So with him being locked up in the Pandora's vault, he will be able to have ultimate power and control over Tommy without having to worry what he is up to. Listen, Tommy, oh, ever since you joined the server, you've been a headache, okay? You brought war, you brought terrorism. The cause of all the war was attachment, right? Your attachment to the dis, your attachment to Henry, to pets, to friends, to land, to countries, to items. It only makes sense to me. And not only that, he would have a reason to have Tommy locked up. That reason being that he blew up the community house. Tubbo. You, the reason I have the disc is because I framed Tommy. I blew up the community house and framed him. You blew you up were dumb enough to give me the disc. After Dream had defeated Tommy and Tubbo, he admitted to blowing up the community house. However, nobody else knew that Dream did it. In fact, they all instantly blamed Tommy. It would be the perfect setup, and I believe that's exactly what Dream was going to do. Now that Tubbo is killed off and Tommy is locked up, Dream has almost got full control over everybody, but not quite. You may be wondering, who doesn't Dream have control of? And who would dare stand up to him? And it's simple, the Egg Pyre. You see, Bad Boy Halo wants the egg to have power. I mean, he literally works for an ugly looking red egg. Dream will possibly try and stop the egg. He doesn't want people disobeying him. But when he does this, the egg buyer will be sent to either kill him or convert him into one of their own. By doing this, it will start yet another war on the Dream SMP. But not only that, Technoblade may even be a potential threat. We know Techno doesn't like any form of government, and technically, isn't Dream like a dictator? He wants control over everybody, and wants every ounce of power. I think Techno will realise this, and maybe even go head to head against Dream in a 1v1. Or even better, maybe Dream could team up with the Egg Pyre and fight against Techno, Rambu, Captain Puffy, and all the people who oppose Dream. Now I know, that's a lot to handle, and I'm sure you have so many questions, one of the main ones probably being, didn't you just say Dream would kill the egg? Why would he suddenly team up with the egg pyre? Well, on one of Technoblade's recent streams, we saw that he wanted to destroy the egg. He did not like it. Bad Boy Halo tried to convince him to join them, however, the egg pyre is almost like a government, with the egg being the leader. And we previously said, Techno hates government, as he wants anarchy. With this knowledge, Dream would easily be able to persuade and manipulate Bad Boy Halo and the other members of the Egg Pyre, such as Antfrost and Puns, to go to war against Techno. And then in the end, he may possibly sabotage the Egg Pyre by destroying the Crimson Egg. Let's say Dream won the war, and the Egg Pyre is no longer. Now what? Literally no one is in his way. Or is there? You see, when everyone came to save Tommy and Tubbo, they said they've had enough of Dream's behaviour, which shows they're all fed up of him. So, if Dream had power, 
surely all the members of the SMP would eventually rebel and start a revolution. There is no chance that Dream would be able to take on at least 20 or maybe even 30 people in a fight, especially considering that he lost a 1v1 against Antfrost in his Manhunt series. <laughs> No, 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 I'm only kidding. But seriously, who would be able to win a 30 versus 1? It's not like Technoblade is going to help considering the fact he just went to war with him, so who would? The only possible way of Dream winning, in my opinion, is by using all the sentimental things which he has gathered over the past few months to his advantage. He would easily be able to control people if they knew he had something which was valuable to them. I think this is the most likely outcome, and to be honest, I think it may work. Dream virtually has all the most sentimental things on the server, including the Axe of Peace, which could possibly convince Techno to even help him. But that's not very likely, as we've seen previously, Techno doesn't forgive very easily. I have a Techno! Me just as the blade. That's all I was to you, the blade. A weapon, well guess what? I'm choosing what I fight for now. And I'm going to destroy the government, Tommy! Dream also has Henry the Cow, Wilbur Sheep, friend, and he even tried capturing Skeppy. Like, wh what the hell? So we've seen what may have happened if Dream won the war, but now let's think about what would have happened if he lost against Techno. Uh, again. No, no, please keep in mind that I'm a comedian and everything that I say is a joke, so please, please don't cancel me. After Dream has lost the war against Techno and the rest of the SMP, he will have no one. But let's say that he managed to escape and got away before he could be killed. We know that Dream is capable of controlling Rambu and his mind, and so maybe he would take advantage of that and use Rambu to slowly gain him power. It's a tricky one, as you just Dream has a lot of power. Although, I think the more likely situation would be that after the war, Dream would have been captured and put inside the Pandora's vault, which is ironic because it don't matter what outcome, he still ends up in the prison. I think maybe once the SMP realise how bad Dream was, they may listen to Tommy when he says that he didn't blow up the community house, and I think they'd be foolish not to, considering they're trusting a green blob who just tried to murder them all. After Tommy is set free, who knows what would happen? We know Nihachu and Jack Manifold wanted to kill Tommy because the server will be a lot more peaceful without him, so would they still attempt their mission? Or would they realise maybe Tommy has just been looked down on by everyone this whole time, and has this green man constantly trying to steal his most prized possessions? It really is a hard one, because I won't be able to imagine the S&P without Turbo, so everything is so hard to predict. So it's for you to decide. Comment below what you think, and join the Discord!